Hey what's up soldiers, my name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be ranking every single Pack-A-Punch camo in Call of Duty Treyarch Zombies from worst to best. So I know a lot of people like ranking videos, so I figured I did it with maps, I did it with some other things. Let's do it with Pack-A-Punch camos because I'm completely out of ideas at this point. So we're just going to roll with it. Now before I get into it guys, if you do enjoy the video, please drop a like and subscribe if you're new, and also I want to let you guys know i'm selling zombies extraordinaire shirts so if you guys want to check them out it'll be the top link in the description i'd really appreciate it if you guys would check them out and let me know what you think as well and order one too that'd be awesome but uh without further ado guys let's get right into the video all right, guys, the absolute worst camo in Treyarch Zombies history has to be the Black Ops 1 camo. I literally don't know how you can get worse. The Dereeks camo was better than every single Pack-A-Bunch camo on all the maps in Black Ops 1. That, that just doesn't make sense to me. Literally, they tried to make it like a circuit board, but the coloring was really bad, and it just did not work at all. It was like red, and you could barely see it because a lot of the maps are fairly dark. It just made no sense at all. It's still, even looks bad in black ops one like they could have updated it they could have changed it so it like moves and no they just literally kept it the exact same basically a port and it still looks terrible so i'm gonna be honest i think the black ops one camo is the worst and it comes in as the worst placement all right guys the next worst camo has to be to the transit crew on transit diarized and buried this camo makes absolutely no sense they were tried going with like an oil spill type texture on the camo and it's really dark and black so it literally does not work at all whatsoever like i don't even know what they were thinking this camo just looks terrible as well it's like shiny which is the only redeeming quality of this camo but at the same time i just don't like it at all so yeah it's the second worst all right guys the next worst camo has to go to zetsubo noshima yes i understand this map is at uh, like a swamp and yes i understand there's like random water everywhere and things like that this camo is literally like green and then there's water running through it and it just i understand what they were going for with this camo like a hundred percent i just don't think it's very good because it's so bland and boring and all the other camos in black ops 3 are vibrant and they're different and they all look unique and this one to me just looked really boring and didn't look cool at all i think they definitely could have done something more like a fluorescent green like bright green would have looked really nice with the whole map being green it would fit really well or maybe even like an orange or something like that that really would spice up the pack a bunch camo but to me it just looks really boring and bland and it just doesn't go well at all in my opinion so zns comes in as the third worst camo Coming in as the fourth camo is going to be the camo on Darius and also the reskinned version that was a little bit updated on the Giant. Now, for me, this, in my opinion, is probably the best camo that we've had since, like mob of the dead okay like this was the best camo leading up to mob of the dead and then eventually things started to change and trey got the ball rolling with all the pack a bunch camos and things like that so darice this camo is really cool it's like an etching camo and there's some really cool etching design that are on all the guns and it really like pops out at all like the lmgs from world at war i think that this camo just stood out as one of the best looking camos that we had ever seen in Treyarch zombies and it's so cool to think that like this camel was literally the best until mob of the dead came out so literally from 2008 to 2013 five years we had the best camo on the first map you could pack a bunch it just doesn't make sense to me but seriously this camo was really really like underappreciated i feel and it's it's pretty dang good so it comes in at the number four spot all right guys now we're kind of over the hill here and we're going through the next five are going to be the best camos so uh basically the next one is going to be from derizen drac now derizen drac has a really cool camo because it's different colors but to me i feel like this one is kind of just 
bland and boring yes it's cool it has cool colors they're fluorescent they move and all that sort of thing which is nice but at the same time it's pretty much just a reskin of a dark matter camo with worse colors like it just doesn't look as good as it possibly could so for me it's kind of the middle of the road camo it's cool it's better than all the other camos that we had seen uh like i guess mob of the dead and origins are better but it was still like a decent camo it wasn't terrible but I wouldn't say it's like amazing or anything. The next one after that is going to be Garad Krovi. Now, to me, Garad Krovi was a lot better than Derizendrak because Garad Krovi had like a burnt feel to all the camos. Yes, it had basically the exact same thing as Derizendrak. It had a few more colors and it also had that whole like burnt aspect to it so it made it look really cool and it kind of fit with the map having the dry dragons like flying around blowing fire everywhere it just fit more and like the red one looks really cool because it's basically like magma and it just looks awesome so overall i would say the garage trophy camo is definitely one of my favorites and it deserved to be pretty high up on the list all right, guys, now we're going to be jumping to my favorite map with a ritual camo. This is the camo on Shadows of Evil and Mob of the Dead. And this camo is really cool. You have like all these weird, like, I don't know what to call them. They're like scribbles, I guess, all throughout the camo. And it just looks really sick and it like moves the red everything it looks awesome i think this is probably my personal favorite camo i wouldn't say it's the best because i did end up ranking this according to which ones i thought looked the coolest but to me mob of the dead is always my favorite you guys know that i think this camo is awesome personally let me know what your favorite camo is down below in the comment section but to me this one just looks awesome all right, guys, the next camo is going to be on Origins. Now, Origins has a really cool and unique camo as well. And this one is more of a, like, ice-type camo, which looks awesome. And a couple of the weapons, when you actually pack a bunch of them, they have a really cool, like, steampunk feel, especially, like, the STG, for example. It has, like, a whole, like, steampunk look with the blue, and it looks absolutely phenomenal. And same thing, like, the Boom Hilda looks awesome. The MP40 looks awesome. Like, all the weapons look really, really sick with this camo. And it's just, like, a bright blue camo. And this was by far like the coolest camo. I remember in Black Ops 2, when you pack a punch on Origins, you felt special with that gun because it just looked so sick. So definitely Origins had to be really high up on the list. And the number one best camo in Call of Duty Zombies history has to be on Revelations. Now, when you pack a punch an Apothecan Servant, it looks so sick. Like the fluid fluorescent colors just look awesome. And and I had to put this one at the number one spot. Now, the gameplay I have for you, unfortunately, is the exact same one. It's like red, but this camo moves really cool, and I think it looks the best overall. Now, you can get like a bright green, and you can get a bright blue as well. Unfortunately, I got the red version, but those other ones look phenomenal as well. This had to be the best pack bunch camo by far in any call of duty zombies game so anyways guys let me know which pack punch camo you think is the best down below hopefully in black ops 4 we get some even better pack a punch camos that just completely destroy all the ones that we have had in the previous games but i hope that they just look so sick and uh i hope they really stand out so anyways guys let me know what you thought down below in the comment section have an amazing day and i'll see you guys in the next video video. It's not even 10 minutes. How about that?